We'll guide you through how to make a Minecraft server for 1.21.7. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. With a Minecraft server, you can go and start playing with your friends and playing with other people. It's really cool. So to get started, let's come out of Minecraft. You can just go and minimize it. And then what you need to do is go and open up a web browser. What we need to do is go and get the Minecraft server download. So you want to type in Minecraft server download like so and come to the official Minecraft site at the top here. What we can then do is go and see it here and you can go and press the download button. It's going to go and download onto your computer like so. Now, before we go any further, we want to go and head to Java, go straight to java.com or you search for it. You can click download Java for desktops like so and you want to go and download it just here and then press back and we're also going to get developer. So press developer downloads. And what you can do is get JDK 21, select that and you can press Windows and find the installer and download this as well. Open up your file explorer and come to your downloads. Install both these versions of Java, I already have, but it's just installing any other application really. Then what you want to do is find server.jar and drag that onto your desktop. What we're gonna do is go and create a new folder. So right click, hover over new and press folder. And then I'm gonna type in 1.20.7 server, like so, and we can then drag server.jar in there. With this method, the server is going to be running on your computer, meaning it's gonna be using your computer's resources and your computer will need to be running the server for it to be online, otherwise people can't go and join it. And it also means people will be connecting to your network as well, which isn't ideal. So a great alternative is the sponsor of today's video, Apex Hosting. They'll go and host the server for you. A big thanks to them for sponsoring this video and at the moment you can get yourself a discount. So the link will be down below in the description and in the pinned comment. If we scroll down, you can check out some of their great features like one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support. So if you need any help, you can get in contact with their live chat. One of my favorite things as well is the instant setup. So it's gonna be ready to play in seconds after you go and purchase it amongst many other great benefits as well. So check them out down below if you're interested. Open this up. Then what you need to do is come to server.jar, right click on it, hover over open with, and then you want to press choose another app. You need to make sure we're using Java TM platform SE binary, select it and you want to then press always. Now it should go and launch very shortly. If it doesn't, just go and double click it like so, and it then should start generating some files and folders here. If you're finding that it still isn't working and maybe nothing happens or something else happens and you don't have the Java icon on it, you may need to do something called a jar fix and that relinks jar and Java files together again. And what you can then do is try running it and hopefully that'll fix it. We've got a full video on that. Now it's gonna go and stop at this point and you need to find eula.txt. Double click on it to open it. What you need to do is go and read the agreement here. So you can go and copy and paste this into a web browser. I already have, and what you can then do is go and change the EULA to true if you agree to it. You need to agree to it in order to continue. After you change it to true if you do, and then you can press file save, close it, and then run server.jar again. The server application is now going to go and open up and you can see the spawn area is gone and prepared. So the server is now running. Just temporarily though, we're going to go and close it. What you can do is come to server.properties here, right click on it, hover over open with, and you want to select notepad. You can then come through here and go and adjust the different settings as you want. If you change anything, make sure you press file and press save. Then you can go and relaunch server.jar to make sure it's actually using those adjusted settings. You can see it's now running and what we can then do is return to Minecraft. You can go and press single player and what you want to do is go and press add server in the bottom right. Because we're hosting on our computer, you can go and type in localhost. There it is, you can select it and press join and we're now joining our server as you can see. If we then go and open it up, we'll go and see Guide Realm has joined the game. Now, for your friends to go and join, it is a bit of an extra step. We'll need to go and do either port forwarding. We have got another method on the channel using an application, and that will allow people from outside of our network to go and join it. And that means they can go and start playing on it. 